Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you enjoyed the video at the start of this video. That's a little study that I put together so that I could work on fourths and triads and moving in different positions. There's also a specific picking pattern um, that I use with this, but I'll go into a little bit more detail in due course. Um, firstly though, make sure you check out the website, uh, my website <laughs> lessons, link is in description box below, 30% off with the code RGSAVE30, so make sure you check that out and download some stuff. Hokey dokey, let's crack on with it. Um, so we start in the key of A. Basically, um, what I wanted to do is just use um, the cycle of fourths um, in order to, to practice triads. In this instance, uh, they're all major triads. Um, so we're gonna start here at fret five of the low E, okay? And what we're gonna do is move up a fourth each time. Actually, I lied, it's almost for all fourths. There's just one chord that I changed slightly uh, to enable me to get a specific movement in the bass, okay? Uh, what I wanted was this movement in the bass. Okay, which is a you know a half whole scale or diminished scale. So there's a number of different things going on here. We've got fourths with the triads, but we've also got a half whole scale in the bass ascending. So let's get started. Um, what you'll find with this when you're playing through fourths is it sounds as though um, the whole progression is kind of like descending, but that's very much the nature of. Uh, of moving in the subdominant direction in terms of keys. Uh, it has a sort of very, a feeling as though we're moving down. Um, and conversely, with the, if you move in the dominant direction in terms of keys, it feels like we're ascending and moving up. So, uh, but we're going down right now. Okay, so we're gonna start here, and this is the pattern. We're gonna play an A major arpeggio. Okay, and I'm playing a down, down, up. And then we're going to go a fourth above that, play the same thing, D major. So, and then we're going to go a fourth above that and play G, okay? This is where it's, um, it isn't fourths, but uh, we're going to disregard that anyway. Um, so, we're going to play A major. It's actually A7 here. First inversion, so we get this. Okay, and that enables us to move a fourth above A7, which is D. Now that allows us to move down, okay? We've got tone movement in the bass, whole tone. So that section. Okay, now what we get here is we're gonna change fingering slightly. So even though, could play it here, we're not going to do that. I wanted to do that on purpose. Just change positions. Okay, so what is that exactly? It's, again, it's just triads moving in fourths. Fourth, 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 oh, sorry, fourth. This time we are gonna play a fourth above it here. Um, so, what we're gonna do though, picking wise, we go down, 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 hammer, on from nowhere, down, down, hammer, down, down, pick, 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 so all down strokes. Um, you can pick this, you know, however you want, but I really like the, um, the way that this sounds, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. So, where were we? And then we're gonna to move to here which is a fourth above D, okay, which is G. 
Um, so, and this, and we're going to descend. Play this little pattern here. And that enables us to move back into the initial position that we played, but a minor third higher. And then we just repeat the same thing, okay? So what do we have all together? And then we're gonna repeat what we played down here, up here. Make sure you get the fingering right. See what I mean? We're actually ascending pitch-wise through this progression. However, it sounds as though the whole progression is descending. So there's kind of like a country thing going on here, which I really like the sound of. Very, very cool indeed. So, uh... This is where we got to. So we now hear, same thing. Yeah, be careful of this. We don't want the notes to bleed, so you can roll it, which is what I do. You can use different fingers, but I'm too much of a lazy git to do that. Uh, where do we go here? That's it. there and then we finish with this chord okay so we got open a fret seven six open four lovely chord okay so let me play it once in its entirety nice and steady And there we go, that's the entire study. Anyway, I should wrap up. I hope, I don't mean wrap up. Well, I should wrap up because it's bloody freezing over here in the UK. Anyway, I'll stop babbling on. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you take it nice and steady, control everything, make sure every note is nice and clear. Uh, try and follow the picking pattern that I've done if you, if you can. If not, don't worry, do your own thing. Uh, but hopefully it gives you, uh, it will extend your fretboard knowledge. Uh, somewhat. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. I will see you on Sunday. I'm going to do another video on Sunday of an Instagram post. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well, because I'm posting a lot on there at the moment. All right, thanks for checking in, guys, and I will see you soon. Cheers.